I just took the Vega 56 out of the box and put it into the node. So I'm going to show you guys how to flash the BIOS to a Vega 64. Uh, you're going to need two programs. One of them is going to be called ATI Flash and this is 277. Um, and just to be safe, I would also download GPU-Z 2.4.0. So the first thing I do uh, whenever I'm going to flash a GPU is I open either of these. So I'm going to start with GPU-Z. It's going to load up. And there's a button right here. So make sure you're on the right card. So that says Radeon RX Vega. Um, but there's a button right here that says save BIOS. So you would click that, click save to file. And then as you can see right here, I already have all my Vega 56 BIOS or BIOS is saved. So you would name it uh, whatever you need to remember what it is and then punch the save button right there. So I'm just going to hit cancel because I already saved mine. Uh, so next I would close this and the next program, so ATI flash 277. So I'm going to double click that. Oh, you need to right click and run as administrator. It's going to ask you if you want to do that. Yes. Once you have ATI wind flash open, you'll see in this box, it says ROM details. And you can see it says Vega. So I know that's my Vega card. Um, and I only have one card in. Normally you don't want to flash more than one card at once, just so you know that you're completing the process on an exact card. So the first thing you would do is hit save. And this is the same thing as before. You're gonna save the BIOS on the card. Um, I'd recommend saving on both programs just in case one file gets corrupted. So use ATI Win Flash and GPU-Z to save the original BIOS. So this is a Gigabyte Vega 60 or a Vega 56. So after I save the BIOS, what I'm gonna do is hit load image. And what you're gonna do is locate your Vega 64 BIOS. So normally you want to download the same brand as the BIOS you're gonna flash. So you can see it right here. I have a Gigabyte RX Vega 64. And these ones are the ones I saved. So those are both 56s. So I'm gonna click the Gigabyte. So that one's gonna be loaded and it'll show you the path file or the file, file path. And um, after that, you just wanna double check and then hit program. And it's gonna start flashing the BIOS. Uh, once it's complete, then it most likely will ask us to restart the computer. So it says your VBIOS was programmed successfully. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. You have to reboot this system before the changes take effect. I'm gonna hit yes. And we're gonna be restarting now. So when we restart, I'm just gonna double check in Wattman because the Vega 64 does have different uh, like core clock and memory clock settings. So I left Windows alone for a few seconds and the screen flashed a few times because it's just trying to recognize the RX Vega. Um, so I'm going to see if it's recognized. So I right click down on the windows, go to device manager and display adapters. And it looks like it still knows that it's an RX Vega. And then I'm going to go to Wattman. So it looks like we have one card here and right there. So you can see, um, I believe this is a higher core clock. 
than the stock 56. And this as well, the 945 is stock for a 56. Um, so my plan next would be to make sure this system's stable so I could just let it sit here for a little bit, um, see if there's any restarts or any instability. After that, I would pull the card out and I plan on mounting it as a third card on this rig. And we're going to try and run all three cards as Vegas 64s mining Monero. I will show you guys a video on how to do the registry edit once I mount the third card to this rig because I will have to redo the registry edit. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below. And if you like the video, throw the video a like.